But she's harmless. She's as harmless as one of those stuffed birds. Day in and day out, writers and directors are surprising people in theaters with the most shocking scenes in cinema. Sometimes the most shocking scenes are often hinted at long before they happen. Booyah! Ah! Whoa! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Did I frighten you? Didn't mean to. Sorry. Howdy. My name is Woody. Hi, I'm Garrett. These are the top five uses of foreshadowing in movies. Number five, Batman Begins. Christopher Nolan's first film in the Dark Knight trilogy depicts Bruce Wayne's coming to be story as his dark alter ego, Batman. Where are you? Here. The ending of the film is not only satisfying, but also heavily foreshadows the next film, The Dark Knight. In the final scene of Batman Begins, Gordon tells Batman that he has a lot of work to do and shows him a very familiar car to us comic book fans. Gordon saying that line foreshadows the future installments to come from within the trilogy, and the car Gordon shows Batman hints at the future coming of the fan favorite character, the Joker. Number 4, The Avengers. Dr. Banner, now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. The successful Josh Whedon superhero flick is the accumulation of five films where the newly assembled Avengers are put up against the forces of a higher power led by Loki. The Avengers is a family friendly film with a lot of funny moments throughout, but one scene to note is the Galaga moment. Uh, raise the missing mouse, ship the top tails. Batman is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. Shall we play, Doctor? This way, sir. Not only does this scene foreshadow the oncoming alien invasion from Thanos' army in a very unsuspecting and funny way, but it also foreshadows the point in which the aliens are coming from, the sky. Number 3, The Dark Knight. Christopher Nolan's second film on this list depicts Bruce Wayne's struggle against the previous listed villain, the Joker. The Joker's methods of anarchy throughout the film eventually catch the eye of one famous Batman character, Harvey Dent. While on the topic of the horrors within Gotham, Harvey mothers this famous line. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Harvey saying this line could be about Batman, but if you think about it enough, this line could foreshadow the eventual fate of Harvey at the end of the film. After Batman saves Harvey from an exploding building which is ripped by the Joker, the collateral flame singe half of Harvey's face and body. Due to this and the death of Rachel, Harvey watches himself slowly decay into insanity while he transforms into the fan favorite villain, Two-Face. Number 2, Psycho. Alfred Hitchcock's acclaimed psychological horror masterpiece revolutionized the horror genre for its creative uses of cinematography, theme of suspense, and for one of the most creepiest moments of foreshadowing in films. Earlier on in the film, Marion catches a conversation between Norman Bates and his mother. She sees how physically abusive she is towards him, and later tries to confront him. When confronted, Norman says she is in the threat, saying this famous foreshadowing line. But she's harmless. She's as harmless as one of those stuffed birds. What Norman was foreshadowing was the eventual fate of his mother and the twist of the film. Not only had Norman murdered her, but also very much like the stuffed bird he referenced, we are revealed to that Norman also taxed the miter. <laughs> this shocking reveal left viewers during the time very frightened and scared, and really made Hitchcock's movie a classic that we know it as today. And finally, number one, Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. The second installment in the original Star Wars trilogy depicts Luke Skywalker and the Rebels fight again against the damaged Galactic Empire. Not only are we shown some of the best special effects of its time and introduced to fan favorites like Lando and Yoda, but we are shown one of the most shocking and best uses of foreshadowing of all time. When Luke meets Yoda on Dagobah, he duels with a vision of Darth Vader as a part of his training in a cave. After Luke strikes him down, it is revealed that under the mask is Luke himself. The scene might seem strange at first, but once you get to the conclusion, the scene makes actually a lot more sense. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough! He told me you killed him. No, I did. 
am your father. What George Lucas was trying to tell us was that there is a piece of Luke in Vader. So once we learn that Vader is Luke's son, everything comes more together. It makes that moment earlier on in the film so much more important in such a neat and cool way. So that's my list. What are your favorite instances of foreshadowing in movies? Comment down below and tell us. And thanks for watching.